Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to one more video. Today's video is the division video, the vendor reset of this week. Uh, today is Friday, November the 9th, and we're about to do some vendor reset. I'm gonna show you my recommendations for what you can buy for this week. So let's get into this, shall we? Alright, to start this, the first item that we're going to be buying this week is going to be here on the special equipment, equipment vendor on the base of operation. Uh, go on him and then scroll all the way down to mods. Uh, the, he's going to be selling this prototype performance mod. It has 3.5 turret damage. Um, for you guys out there who likes the fire turret, this one is going to be going awesome with your builds. As a fact, I'm going to be grabbing some of these because I'm trying for next week to make a Firecrest build. So, turret damage is going to go awesome with that build or any type of build that you can take advantage of some fire turret or even just a regular turret. So, this one in special equipment vendor on the base of operation. Alright, moving on to do the next item. Uh, the next item we're gonna grab is gonna be on the safe house the crypt. And in this vendor, weapon vendor, you're gonna find a mod. It's gonna be the large suppressor. This one is pretty good. It has 70% critical hit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 3% critical hit chance. This is um, a great, great uh, large suppressor. Uh, 17 is out of 19% max on the critical hit damage and everything else is actually max so uh, definitely recommend this for PvP and some PvE and so do, don't forget to grab this on the Crypt safe house this week. Moving on to the Cam Clinton uh, safe house uh, come to the special equipment vendor and he's gonna be selling on the weapon mods, he's going to be selling the small grip. Uh, this one actually is really nice, especially for your SMG. So the reason I'm recommending this is because 19% critical hit damage, 4.5 optimal range, and then reload speed 4.5. Um, as you guys know, uh, or if you guys don't know, the SMGs have um, a, lot, a lack of damage when it goes on the um, long range as expected this is SMG so I always trying to put some uh, grips on it that has some optimal range on SMGs that way you don't lose so much damage on the range all right now we're getting onto the data zone areas um, the first one we're gonna hit is gonna be right here on the fifth F dark zone uh, checkpoint and this Darzon vendor, he's gonna be selling this extended magazine. Um, this one is actually it's it's decent, it's pretty nice. It has um, 120 magazine size, 2.5 critical chance, and 5.3 rate of fire. Um, my biggest concern is that critical chance, but it's only is like 0.5 percent loss in there to a maximum of three. So, like I said, this is really decent. Um, if you don't have a extended magazine, so grab this one because this is basically the magazine that we use the most in this game. This magazine, this type of magazine right here. Magazine size, critical chance, and rate of fire. So definitely don't miss on this if you need some of this. The second uh, Darzun item is going to be on East 31st Street checkpoint. And if you come to the Darzun vendor, he's going to be selling this prototype performance mod with uh, 4.5 ballistic shield damage resilience um, if you make a defense build these are uh, the go-to uh, mods that you want to put on your ballistic shield because this actually does a lot of goods for your build um, the ballistic shield takes a lot of advantage of this um, the maximum is 5% this, on one, this ones are 4.5 um, so it is not too bad and the 5% ones it's kind of rare to find so grab some of these if you need to make a ballistic shield build which I'm gonna be making a new one soon for my PC character. At the Darzone checkpoint East 46th street 
this Darzon vendor he's gonna be selling uh, some prototype electronic mods that has 257 electronics and 3% skill haste if you have that skill build or if you're trying to make even a PvP uh, build with more skill haste which I've seen a couple people doing a lot lately these ones are the mods that you want to have um, there's a maximum of 3% on skill haste and the electronics is only 2 point is only 257 out of 274 so it's not too bad so I would definitely pick some of these if you need some uh, skill haste for your build Darzon checkpoint East 53rd street uh, this Darzon vendor is gonna be selling some black market AK-74 for some reason if you want to try to some AK in this game which are uh, a nice gun to use uh, this one has two awesome talents for damage deadly and unforgiven the first talent swift I would switch there for something else uh, depending on what type of build you're making uh, if you're going all the way damage just put responsive here and you have an awesome AK-74 moving on with the dark zones uh, it's gonna be on dark zone 3 inside uh, the safe house inside the dark zone dark zone 3 uh, there's two items in here that I highly recommend especially for PvE it's a fact mostly for PvE so the first one is gonna be the MP5 ST this one is gonna go great with your um, defense build if you don't have a house um, honestly in some case I would even recommend the MP5 over the house for the defense build on PvE this one has ferocious, unforgiving and vicious the talents are, the, the, these three talents together are not bad at all um, for the defense build but if I had to switch something in here I would probably take out the vicious for something else or uh, ferocious um, I'll leave him forgiven in there because this one is it's gonna be unlocked and uh, yeah this is gonna be great for your defense build and the second uh, item that I'm gonna be recommending here is gonna be this tactical ACR so if you guys are you know been watching my channel I have one of uh, my legendary runs with a ACR actually is one of my most uh, watched video for my legendary runs and you know I show how ACR can be really good at PvE if you don't have like a good control over the M4 um, the ACR is a great gun for PvE it has a damage per bullet less than the M4 RPM actually damage per bullet higher than the M4 I'm sorry and the RPM less than the M4 and uh, but it still does a good amount of damage you can control it a lot easier and you can hit your shot a lot better and this one in particular has ferocious talented and fierce so I would definitely take out that talented and put something else like uh, destructive and you have a great great gun for PvE ferocious destructive and fierce is gonna be great combination for your PvE uh, challenges especially right now that we have this uh, shield fan going on where you need to complete all the legendaries these guns are gonna help you a lot so these are actually this one is gonna be my recommended buy of the week uh, if I have to recommend something um, it's going to be on Dark Zone 3 inside the Dark Zone 3 on Safe House. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for me, guys. That's going to be my video for the vendor reset of this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy, hit me with that like. It actually helps me a lot. If you're new, I hope I see you again in here. And if you guys have any question, leave them down on the comment section below. And I hope I catch you guys in the next one. Alright.